Have you ever wondered about the difference between rolled oats and oat groats? Well, I've asked myself that question. And which one is the best for homemade oat milk? We're gonna find out today. Hi, my name is Carmela. I'm your host for today's Milk Ed episode. Today, we're gonna find out the difference between rolled oats and oat groats. So let's dive in. So rolled oats or old-fashioned oats are actually derived from oat groats but they have first been steamed and then rolled into large rolling pins to create flakes. They're very quick to cook and they're versatile in recipes and the best thing about them is they have a longer shelf life which is why a lot of people opt in for them. Now let's talk about the characteristics of rolled oats. So rolled oats have a flatter shape and smoother texture compared to oat groats. So you can cook them quite well because it absorbs liquid very well and that is why when you make oatmeal it has a creamy consistency. Also, in terms of flavor, rolled oats has a milder and sweeter taste compared to oat groats. They can easily adapt to various flavor profiles, which is why they can be used for both sweet and savory dishes. Lastly, rolled oats are very convenient. You can cook them in the stovetop, in a microwave or keep it overnight for a non cook recipe. Now, it's contender, oat groats. This is the real deal, the whole kernels of oats, which only the outer hull is stripped out. So you know it's packed with so much nutrients. Oat groats have a chewy and nutty flavor, which is why they're great for salads, savory recipes, and pilafs. Now for the characteristic of oat groats. The biggest advantage of oat groats is that it's highly nutritious. It's packed with a lot of fiber, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants compared to rolled oats. They are also full of protein and complex carbohydrates that supports the digestive health. It's because it hasn't gone through a whole process like rolled oats. Oat groats have a hearty, chewy texture to it and add substance to a dish. They maintain their shape well, which can be used as a base for stuffing, grain bowls, or as a side dish. While rolled oats are very convenient, oat groats on the other hand require a lot more time in terms of cooking. They typically need to be simmered for about 45 minutes to an hour to achieve a tender consistency. So whether you're rolled oats or oat groats fan, there's one thing for sure about oats is its versatility. It knows no bounds. And when it comes to crafting your own oat milk, Milky Plant has got you covered. With Milky Plant, say goodbye to the hassle and fuss and you can literally make your own oat milk in just three minutes. You'll have creamy, dreamy oat milk ready to elevate your morning coffee or your breakfast cereal and maybe some recipes or two and some of you might be asking which one is the best for making your own homemade oat milk there is really no best answer here it depends on what kind of flavor you prefer if you want a milder or sweeter taste then go for rolled oats for me personally I like it with oat groats it has a little nutty taste to it and I feel like it's so much more creamier I just add a date in and it's the perfect oat milk. Based on what you learned today, how do you like to make your own oat milk? That's it for today's Milk Ed episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below which type of oat milk you prefer and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!